who care crossover and we got a huge guest for y'all i've been teasing this for a minute yeah. i'm talking about a league champion i'm talking about a league mvp one well, still one of the best in the 2k league till this day and one of the biggest if not the biggest trash talker i've seen on the comp scene i ain't gonna front with y'all man we got beer the beast and of course you know your boy brutal sim on the scene we can mean and you know i ain't introducing these guys man man introduce yourself man jay uh yeah, I ain't saying nothing today, man. You not y'all not about to get me again, man. You're not gonna get me again. Look, what are you talking about? Huh? Gee. What are you talking nah. about? No, nah, oh, man. No, oh, it's man. inbound. No, nah, ain't no <laughs> pause coming anyway, today, man. man. <laughs> y'all done got me the last three episodes. It's not happening. Mm. All right, Damn, but yeah, bro. yeah, y'all know it is, man. Y'all, y'all know it is. You just go. It's, it's right here. Link, link down in the description or some. Uh, all that good stuff. Holla at your boy. No pause zone. That's right. <laughs> no pause zone. What's good, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in to this next episode of the 2K Crossover Report. Special guest, Bear the Beast. Man, Bear, what's good, bro? Introduce what's, yourself, Bear. Yeah, what's up with about. you, man? I, I appreciate y'all for, for uh, giving me some time to stop by, man. I appreciate you guys and y'all big time, mm -hmm. so I appreciate it. But uh, I'm Bear the Beast, man, NBA 2K League player. Uh, do a couple other things on the side we might could, might could talk about, but that's pretty much that's pretty much it, man. NBA 2K League champ. I do the 2K thing pretty hard, uh, and uh, it's, it's a little content trying to get like y'all, trying to trying to grow, trying to be like y'all. But that's about it. No doubt, man. Make sure and follow his channel, man. The link will be in the description. He's a great content creator. If y'all want to learn a lot about the comp scene or just playing the right way, he got it there for y'all as well, man. So let's start off with this. How long you been playing 2K, my G? Man, to be honest with you, from from just just from so my experience with 2K, right, the, the, the competitive side of it, these guys... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I get to sit with a group of guys a little older, so I know y'all remember 2K coming out on the Dreamcast. Sure, hell yeah. people, they don't remember that. They don't remember that. They don't remember the 2K coming out on the Dreamcast. I remember uh now I remember going to go get it from the mall. We went and bought the uh, we went and bought 2K with Iverson on the cover from Dreamcast. So I've been playing it since then. Ooh. We hopped on the 2K wave a little later and then got back on the the 2K by seven, eight. But yeah, the Dreamcast days, man. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of them really don't remember that. And what's your yeah. favorite 2K? What's your favorite 2K, man? Favorite, man. Uh, see, uh, I don't know if I can go with a favorite because I play it so much that no mm -hmm. matter what it is, I got to like it because I got to make that's how I make my money. So it don't matter what it is, yeah. I got to kind of like the game. Favorite, the one I most had, like like the fun, I could probably say like 17 or 18. 18 got super cheesy, but everybody was cheesy. So I yeah. I kind of liked it. But uh that seven, that 17, 18, I like I like that era. Interesting. All right. 18, a lot of people they're not gonna like that. Yeah, they're not gonna like that, bro. <laughs> Man, that's like one of the for me, one of the worst. <laughs> I think 18. Would think it's one of the worst. Mm, <laughs> so man. tell me, tell me why y'all don't why, what what y'all like about 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for yeah. me, for me, eighteen wasn't necessarily bad, but I think eighteen dropped when Fortnite was in its peak, so it just mm -hmm. gave us a next option. So the slightest thing we felt that was wrong with eighteen, we just was all right. Let's it go was blown out of proportion. You think? I mean, so yeah. I think eighteen probably didn't get a fair shot, in my opinion. What are y'all thoughts on that, y'all? Nah, I got the fair shot. and failed. <laughs> so I feel, man. Nah, man. I, you know, I, you know, there was a problem with blow buys and stuff like that. I think that was the first yeah, year bro. that we started experiencing yep. the bad catch animations. Uh, just a lot of little goofy stuff. It was the year that we made a transition from the old neighborhood. Uh, to, well, well, excuse me, the old style of 2K into a new yeah. neighborhood. Uh, oh, we had the kiosk for the t-shirts, which was probably the dopest part of 2K18, which I thought was was dope. But that went down the drain. Uh, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe not an absolute fair shake, especially right after that, getting 19 and 20. Mm. Yeah. Yes, right. yes. It, I played, so I got to play point guard. So I, when I was five mm. out and the blue buys was fun to me, like it was. I got you. Yeah, so that was, mm -hmm. so I, so that was my experience from it. And then in the, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jay, you shaking your head, talk to me. Nah, because <laughs> nah, we hated that. Like, no, nah, no, nah, nah, I was cool. I was cool with that mm. part. The, the thing that I hated the most about 18, it, it wasn't the two things I really hated the most about 18. It was BB. 
and shooting over people. If you was, you could be, I was a seven, well, I was a seven mm. three. What, what's the highest yeah. be? Seven yeah. three? I was yeah. a seven three center just shooting the ball. I didn't care if no, somebody was right there or not. Mm. And then so I made crazy. the, uh, then I made the Gary Payton bill and that joke was just fast, man. Like, man, me and Brute, we, me and Brute had fun on that joint, man. Cause he had a slashing shot creator and a shot creator slasher. Man, and then man. I had the yeah. I had the two way the two way uh playmaker man we was just we just we just mm. was, was was laughing most of the time on that game it yeah. wasn't a whole lot of taking it seriously and maybe that's what made it good because a lot of people ain't no nobody was really taking the game seriously back then because the the league that was the first year of the league and so it wasn't even in its infancy mm. it wasn't even created yet you know everybody thought they were going oh I can play two K I'm gonna go to the league and then you know they they didn't understand the game behind the game and stuff back then and. And then I think 18 might have been where everybody tried to, after 18, everybody tried to get super serious. But 18 was probably the last one where you could just go out there, have fun. People didn't care about their records. They, they yeah. had your win percentage right there when you played somebody. Oh, he a 200 win percent. We can play around this game. You know, stuff like that. So uh, I think it had a lot of good things, but I shouldn't have been able to shoot over people with a 7-3, with an 85 three ball, <laughs> or 80, 88 three ball. I had something. It was something dumb, man. I ain't care. And, and <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, I can tell the difference from the from the like. I don't know if that's what you meant, but like from like for me, like the, with the two K league, like you said, it's been a league first year from right. eighteen. Y'all could tell the difference in the scene of two K since then, or no? Yeah, from being like on, y'all could tell the difference of seriousness from the play. Oh yes, yes, yes for seriousness sure. for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think that the comp scene got way. Yeah, it, it got way more aggressive. I should say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I never, that never even crossed my mind till y'all just said that. Like it never yeah. even. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you know, we had two K sixteen, and there was, a, you know, what it was. Two K was making a transition, so you know, we had the gameplay in itself. Where sixteen, seventeen, you had pure playmakers shooting from half right. court. And you know, as it was around the eighteen nineteen stage that they started making those right. transitions. You yeah. know what I mean? So uh, the gameplay changed in itself as well. Which probably yeah, you're right, and I never mm -hmm. studied that until you mentioned it mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so mm -hmm. then it was mm -hmm. mostly park. Everybody right. used mm -hmm. to park, and people used to run up on people in park. But it was just like not that serious. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. But 18, you right on that 18 one. Eighteen hit mm -hmm. boy, and it was it was it was a whole different thing. I ain't got a lot of, but see, in seventeen, I would I would mm -hmm. say if I ain't mistaken, because I used to watch a lot. I watched pro am back in seventeen and stuff too, and I remember you playing with um. You used to play with Island Gang, right? Slay yep. Island, them guys. Yeah. And like, yep. like when you came, so when you came on in what? I think what nineteen was your first year, or twenty was your first year in the league. No league. Uh, I came in the second year, so I think it the was second 19. year. So it was nineteen. Yeah. So, so when you came in and you was playing, I was like, yo, I already knew who you were, but a mm -hmm. lot of people didn't know who you were, and so. I was like, and I, I guess it must have just been an age thing that you went in there the first year, because I was like, it ain't no way in the world if. And, and, and all due respect, if some of the guys off your team made it, it ain't no way in hell you shouldn't have made it the first year. So I figured, yeah, yeah. It, I, ain't, yeah. I mean, I'm not throwing, throwing no shots at nobody. I'm just saying I've been around that long. So it, I was like, I don't, I don't even understand this. And then, you mm -hmm. know, I was like, eh, you know, maybe it had to be age or something. Was it age related? You just went old enough uh, yet? It, it was a, so people don't even know this. And, and um, so it's the politics behind it, right? You know, a lot of people are like, man, why you ain't playing high school? Because old buddy daddy was the coach well somebody like one of the coaches yeah. told me like uh it was like the first year so um the first year they actually told me uh from from now that i'm in the league and i got some years and they told me like the first year this ain't even on public record nobody from the uppers mm -hmm. that even tell me this they're still shy away from this conversation uh but mm -hmm. at this point it don't hurt too much for me to say it but it's uh when i first got into the league like i was like they, I, I think I was a little too rough around the edges as far as some of the things I would say, the way I would go with people and talk I trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, I, don't I, know, know. I, I, I go with, I can go with that. Yeah. So I don't know if they thinking like, man, we about to put X amount of dollars behind this league, and they wanted mm. it. They, they want, like if it's new, they want liability. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Mm. And that, and I think that's what they looked at me as as a liability, and it was. Mm. Uh, and and the first season they told me because I I was it was only three players out of the whole combine out of like seventy three thousand people uh, mm. that averaged over forty and I was one of the three and right. I had a good I had a really good uh, I want to like say the Chalk win. was one of them too wasn't he then yep, Chalk, Chalk and Jay yeah. Money yep that's it yeah. us three me Chalk and Jay yeah. Money my head coach now so that was us three yeah. and uh, but it was a, now they told me from a personality issue like I was t it was it was too much of a risk and then as soon mm. as I get in the next year off the very first video they make of me on stage. 
they got their first 100K, like, viral moment for the league. And right. they're like, well, maybe this dude ain't such of an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, then, they, then they ran with it. So nice. that, that was it, though. Okay, so that, that makes a whole lot of sense because I was just like, I, I had a, like, me from the background, I had a problem yeah. with it. Cause see, I thought it was something else. I was like, well, I, I'm, I'm thinking that had to be aged, but I'm just like, yo, it ain't no way that these, that some other guys made it and you cool with those guys and they ain't vouch for you or something like that. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. like, see, th- that's when, that's when the outside, the, the streets came at me. I like, it ain't no way that you can, they, they can make it and they ain't vouch for my man. And then like, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, you can't even talk to me no more if you don't yeah. vouch for me. And I and yeah. we'd have been winning championships together and stuff. So, but then I thought about it and I was like, you know, had to be a good reason. So I'm glad we got some clarity on that one because I yeah. have been wondering that for the last what six years or whatever it was. Because I I was mad for you. So you know, nah, I appreciate it. But now that was me. I was wilding. It was it was same same stuff we know about. Somebody challenged you, man. Let's. Yeah. I was just going like this, ban for like, whatever you want to do. Want to play for a thousand? Want to play five thousand? How you want to yeah. do it? But if I get on camera and I show you five thousand, like. And then the dude, like, dude's like, me and Chalk will get into it. Chalk will tell me, like, man, I'm a, man, you ain't going to sit, we ain't going to middle, like, he like, you ain't yeah. going to see him 5,000 across the internet. And I'm like, but his his address was going across the, the, the online. So I'm like, right. well, you ain't going to burn me for no five. I pull up to Florida for five. Like, you ain't going to, so once you start talking about stuff like that, yeah, like, it's a, yeah. it's a, then they like, no folks like, man, then them. I've been yeah. joking around, saying yeah, stuff yeah, with yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you start, yeah. it was certain things that I shouldn't have been doing. But when them, when them CEOs and them people put, they yeah. nah, we ain't taking a chance on that boy. That boy Tom, and it would have never got that serious with like, right. like, well, I ain't gonna if I we wouldn't we're the middleman the money. But once they start hearing stuff like that, they're like, it's dead. It's over with. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. I was just that makes sense. Yeah, Sometimes it's not it. just about the skill, man. You gotta look at yo. Yeah, so that's, a lot that's of that, we invested a lot of money on so this you, person. That so, friend, did you so. find a balance there, Bear? Did you find like, uh, uh, what do you say, a compromise, a fair compromise between your personality and how you're known to be, and you know, balance? Nah, that's it. Them? That's mm-hmm. it. Now nah, you're absolutely right. So it's a it's a it's a game too. The same way we play 2K to figure out the the game to 2K and figure out every single year how to do the animations, the new jump shots. Same way you figure that out. Everything I me personally, I look at life like that. So with the content mm-hmm. creation, with oh this is so they didn't like that side. They like content, right. but they ain't like that aggressive side yeah, of the yeah, content. Yeah, yeah. So let's just switch the game, switch it up. Let's adjust to it and then attack it from that standpoint. So yeah, it's a that's it. It's, it's the same mode, same model. Nice. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I want to ask you this, man. Like, how much hours do you put into this game? Mm, good question. Oh, let, let me let me restructure. Like, what's your daily regimen? Like, so actually, off season is more of a um, to be honest, which off season is more of a grind. So off season is when the game drop, we're on it, right? We're we're on it. So yeah. typical day might look like. It, 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 the schedule ended up getting messed up because you, you start staying up more and more and more. And the more you see, if you see somebody yeah. else good, now you got to learn. You got to learn what they're doing. Yeah. You got to mm. just copycat. Yeah. But uh, of course, when it, so when it dropped, we're probably on it. Pros probably on it 14, 18 hours a day. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, and it's every day. And it's just a, uh, we mm. own it. We're grinding and we're doing that for, for months at a time. And rather that's on stream, off stream. Or on on a buddy account, on your account, because sometimes people might be like, man, I look at your hours and um, mm-hmm. your hours don't match up to this, but they might not yeah. even know I done spent just as much time on somebody else's account because I tried out a 6-2 build with 98 three ball. He tried out a 6-3 with a 97. So instead of me making another bill, I'm going to just try bros out and we, like, we're going to swap out. But yeah, it's probably a, when, you, when it first come out and then it kind of dialed back to a good regular shift, eight, 10 hours on it. You, you, you play five days a week. I have no idea. Wow. And that's it's why I'm telling people when they talk about count versus casual, I'm like, you're not willing to put in that type of time. <laughs> it's a different not monster. But I'll make it. <laughs> you just hey, like, there's a ton of players out there who feel like they could sit in bear to be seat right now. Yeah. yeah that, like, so we like hear it a lot. Yeah, like, you're right. You, we, we see it a lot. Like, mm. it's, a, it's people that. If, Man, I just had a conversation with a dude. I was just, right before I came on, having a conversation with a dude, I'm, I'm in the parking garage, and um, he was telling me he's a superstar in the league. And I'm like, bro, you got 500 followers on every platform. And he's telling me, like, I'm about to blow up. I can do it. He's telling me he can do what y'all do, right? And I'm like, it sounds good. And if it's so, if it's that easy, go show me, baby. Go do it. Because what they, what they, 
that that grind, that consistency, and the time you put in, you can't skip that part. Ain't no shortcuts mm. in that part. So it's mm. it, everybody feel like that though. Everybody feel like they can sit in my seat, and that, I'm cool with it because that's it's you know do what you do, but it's it's some it's some work that's got to come behind that as well. Like if you get here, congratulations, and I know you. If you get here, I know you deserved it. I think I think part of it is like it's the same thing as where everybody think they can they can go to the league and score those 15 points. Uh, I'm talking about the, the you know the real NBA. They had the yeah, things. You think yeah. you think you can go in if you if you had a whole game. They think they can score 15. They will understand you might not get a shot off. Right. And it's like everybody think that they can go out there and go to the. Like they had a thing where you get 10 cracks to get five yards rushing the ball in the NFL, and they like, bro, you get hit the first time, you might not even be able to run the second time. Yeah. You all you, you don't realize how slow you are, how your reaction time is not on point. And all this, so I think that's the thing with you guys. Like, that everybody feels like that this is what you're doing right here. They think you're just pressing buttons. They think you're just pressing buttons. They don't right. understand the cerebral part of it, and that's the part. Like you said, they want to skip and skip and get to the front of the line. So they thinking skip and get to the front of the line. I just pull up on Bear and beat him when he playing with with bombs and right. uh, and, and my homeboy. I forgot. Man, I can't think what his name is. A Spanish fellow, man. That dude be killing me, man. That, that always run with you. Um, oh, Calabasas? Well, yeah, Calabasas, yeah. So yeah, that's, they yeah. Go, that when Calabasas is running point guard, they gonna, that's when they want to try to pull up and you playing something else. And it's like, just like you said, the, the hard part is you cannot skip all the hours that I put in and, and the level of consistency that I have, have, uh, have brought to the table all these years because that's the only thing that's, that separates pros from amateurs. Amateurs, mm. we practice until we get it right pros practice until I can't get it wrong. So like mm. at the beginning of the year, when you guys shooting the ball, shooting the ball, shooting the ball, and the ball is not going in, but you're doing the exact same thing. And this time it goes in four times, but because I had what I was, I was one tick tired this time, I took one more dribble yeah. this time and shot That's the ball it. the same way it didn't go in. And then, um, that right then, there, what you, that what you speaking hmm. on them small thing, I promise yeah. I, I wasn't on this. Watch this. This is this is a this notes right. This just from the last look look. This is from the last game. So this this is notes on mm. my matchup from the. This is this wow. real time. I didn't plan to show y'all this. That's right. that's me on my matchup who I'm about to go play. But it's different, wow. man. That level is like you say. Yeah. I'm telling. you, I'm in practice today. That difference between 75 percent stamina and there shooting it compared to 70 percent. I I need to take a thousand jump shots on that to master that mm. i'm gonna take it just so i can hit that i'm gonna shoot a thousand of them so i can shoot that one time in a game it might not like i just need that one time to go in all season so it's right. a it's a it's a different monster man it's different it's the it league is, is different is so the no, expectation there for you like is, is this expected from the higher ups or is this just your work ethic right so it's it's different. Different people got different crafts. They do different things. So me, I'm not the biggest dribble head. So mine come from a mental aspect. So the dude who in the, the, the dribble heads might, they might lab dribbling three, four hours a day. So where I might only lab 30 minutes to an hour, but I'm going to go break down film every day for two, three, four, five hours. So, but so whatever you do though, it's expected at the highest level. Wow. It, 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 yeah. So wow. whatever, whatever you do, you got to, and if you don't do it, um, it, it, it's a revolving door. Like it's a lot of two K players that think they can get in the league, and if you won't come in half stepping, they they get you out of there. Yeah, it's a so it's a, it's a, it's a different monster though for I sure. I think that separates you as a pro player, man. Like that's why I, I like to watch you. I've been a fan of right. yours, and just appreciate. I could see you play under that IQ. Like you, you really think the game. It's a yeah, chess appreciate. game to you, yeah. everyone. Right? Exactly. So that that's is. one thing that really stood out to me, man. One thing I want to ask you, um, do you, like, y'all ever try to push for 2K to have the league build in the game? Mm -hmm. Like, at that, launch? That's, I'm, I'm, man, yeah, this, the stuff that y'all, a lot of the stuff that y'all probably think about, so when I'm watching, y'all hear some certain topics, certain stuff can never hit the fan, right? I can never go public with the information, but I'm right. doing the background is, see, they say, man, like you said, they say, they say, you give the dude, can you get 15 rushing yards on five attempts in the NFL? Can you get 15 points in the NBA if they throw you out there? So when they see me missing the corner, they don't even know that I don't got no Gatorade boost. I ain't got no jump shot boost. Um, I'm I'm playing at a higher difficulty level than, than rec or pro am. So my thing is like, let them touch it, let them feel it. So when you when you see League of Legends, when you see Call of right. Duty, a lot of that is the same game. So my I'm yeah. 
I'm pushing, put it on retail. Put it, and then they don't even know that they dumb my bills down. So the thresholds that everybody make when y'all go make y'all bills, we're gonna do 98 three ball for Hall of Fame agent three, or we're gonna do not we're gonna do 96 for limitless. Like our bills ain't even gonna touch the threshold. So it's a it's just it's different. And they make it harder because it's once you once people and then when you get into the league, man, people slave in the game, man. They like, bro, we practice six yeah. days a week. We practice six days a week and, and we get one day off and and it's, it's just go for the next six months. It's 2K. That's all we know is 2K. It's on go. But it's wow. it's I, I'm one of the biggest advocates for it. we need to play on the same game everybody else play on. And and that it also helps people to get into the league because now we can see like, oh, you sneaking it. Yo, you you in the league, but you don't deserve right. that mm-hmm. spot. Oh, buddy, that mm-hmm. he'll be like 32 people, deserve it. I see some people in the league. They were shining before. After they go there, it's like they mute. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It's different, man. Mm. I mean, but I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys that push for that. I, I want to see it. Um, and maybe, maybe it was supposed to get a, it's supposed to get closer, closer, closer every year. So we'll see what that look like. And it's, it's a lot of that stuff be out the players' hands. Yeah. And yeah. I think. Go ahead, go ahead. You can go. And I was gonna say, do you think at the beginning of this year that it was closer to the league build than it has ever been with That's a lot of people? Curious. With a lot of people just feeling like they just couldn't get it right. Do you feel like it was closer to the league build? Do you feel like it was overkill the way that it was? Because at the beginning of the year, it almost felt like they were like, damn it, you point guard's going to pass the ball this year. That's what you're going to do. If you was catching the ball, mm-hmm. if you was coming off of something, or you coming yeah, off true. of a screen or anything like that, it was water. Mm-hmm. But if you were point guard dribbling or, or doing any type of move, it, it just you just weren't going to be able to shoot the basketball until a couple of patches in. So do you, do you feel like that was closer to the league, Bill, or do you feel like that was overkill? And you talking about like retail? You talking about right. just yeah. getting a retail? Yeah, when it, when it right, first so, came so hear me out. So let's say last year, last, last year league bill felt similar to the beginning of this year's retail. So that's what the, when right. you see pissing, people missing open, mm-hmm. that's what they're experiencing, right? So right. when they missing open, is that green that green window ain't as big, and and they made it. They make they got like you said, they got tired of a lot of stuff. So you right. they ain't gonna let you do that. So the so then now that this year league bill, they gonna take that and then make that even harder. If that makes sense, so gotcha. we're gonna play it on the beginning. Of the day, we're gonna play on a harder version than that, and it's just, I, I think they're trying to get closer to that. But yeah, that's this retail version was the closest I done seen to uh, what we get to play on on the league bill, and a lot of casuals don't like it. And if I right. would, if I'm a casual, I if I only got two hours to play a day, an hour to play a day, I don't want play. I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on my bill that can't shoot. Right. I'm, I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want no smoke and, with that. And and I I, I agree with you on that. I, I felt like uh, that's that's what a lot of people felt. I didn't really have a whole lot of p- problems with it because I don't. I'm a catch and shoot person. I don't dribble the ball at all. But like, it, it just don't happen. I just pass the ball and get it back and I shoot it. So I know I didn't have a whole lot of issues with it, and I didn't have issues with it once they kept it consistent. But when they just kept changing, it kept felt like yeah. they kept sliding, kept moving it like it was a sliding scale. Is that yeah. how it feels in the league sometimes? Like where they try to make yeah, it feel use, more use. like at the beginning of the year it feels you know it's it's super tight but then they maybe they see i don't know i'm just throwing stuff out they see viewership yeah. falling off or or they see like you know mm-hmm. people not into as into it or they see you guys are just not enjoying it as much and they try to open it up a little bit you know later on in the year with the tournament you know after the tournaments after the, the kickoff tournaments or what have you is that how that kind of yeah, goes they patch, they patch the game during right. the, yeah so like there's constant adjustments i guess so it's nothing so you got it's on a much smaller scale so when retail okay. when retail drop mm-hmm. million if something wrong with it millions of people complaining and it don't matter right. what they do it's either too easy or it's too hard but exactly they go it's so in the league it's, it's only a small group of people so yeah uh but it, they will patch it they do make patches in the game but what they was doing in retail this year with the like you say, they just touching that notch, and yeah. and I don't think about it because I mean I'm a, I'm gonna be like, man, this suck. But I already know I'm about. To, all right, cool. I'm about to go next fifteen hours to figure this out. So exactly. for, for me, I know I'm about to put the time in, but I ain't never really think about it like that because for the people, yeah, for the people who don't got that much time to master it, right? Yeah, that that that'll suck for them. Um, I I'm a, I got no choice to figure it out. That's how I right. put food on my plate. So for me, I'm gonna go figure it out. But yeah, in the league build. They have changed some stuff, but not as much because, like you say, that ain't – because a team, let's say on patch one, 
If a, mm -hmm. they, these people buying into the NBA, these these teams spending their money. If they team doing really good on patch one and they hot, and then you go patch it, all of a sudden they bad. Hold on now, you you changing the rules while while right. I got the advantage. Yeah, yeah. So they can't do too much of that because yeah, yeah, they yeah. got their money involved into it. So mm -hmm. look look different, but they do make a, some some small adjustments. Okay, because hmm. I know like League of Legends, they have what they call. So they used to have, they they used to always be one patch in the rear. <laughs> And then I think you guys, you guys play on live patch or do you like, not, not the actual, not the actual yeah, retail right. live patch, but do you, are you guys like, like they'll do some stuff to, to the, um, to the builder maybe during the week, but they'll tell you, Hey, it's going to feel different in practice, but you're not going, mm. this is not what you're going to be playing on, on they, Saturday they or what have you. Well, they won't, they won't touch like if, so they'll let you know, like this. This is what's about to happen. Okay. They used to. Mm -hmm. I don't know how y'all remember how two K was. They'll drop a patch and wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. They won't give you no details. Yeah, so they used to do. Yeah. yeah, they used to do that in the league, but we like something feel different, dog. They nah, <laughs> exactly. nah, nah. We we play it too much. We know, but <laughs> they used to do some of the same stuff. So now they'll let you know, like it's Monday. This is this is, we we got this whole list. It's the ten things we changing for next Monday. When next Monday hit, this patch dropping. So they're a little mm -hmm. bit more forward on letting you know exactly okay. what's being touched and tweaked. Right. That's dope. All right. All right. Sure. That that makes that makes a a whole lot of sense because, like I said, like like I said, yeah. I, I think a lot of people just feel like they can they can <laughs> do it, but they have no idea what you guys are are up against with a constantly changing landscape. You got to deal mm -hmm. with guys that's right there, like like. Y'all live in a in a in a y'all share a dwelling, and you're mm -hmm. playing beside this person. So the same thing that I can say crazy to you when you're 900 miles away, I might not be able to say that same crazy thing with you sitting right beside me. Mm -hmm. And even if I do, even if you're doing, you let it slide. You know, I might remember that a little bit longer. You might have to, you, you're gonna have to see that dude later on. So yes, what I wanted yeah. you to do is, would you can you can you speak to it a little bit about about the conditions? Of, of playing and like, you know, with, with your team and, and how, how the dynamic of, of playing with the team that you're actually living with mm -hmm. versus playing with the team that you are, are, you know, just over the internet with. That, that's a, that's a different element. So when we go to draft, uh, people, so people talk crazy on the internet, right? This is every platform all across the board. People talk crazy. But the thing is, like you said, you about to go, you about to go live with these people. You about to go, this is about to be your brothers for the next six months, whether right. you like it or not. Now you, it is trades and you can't cut people, but the teams that have problems, they don't win. So everybody trying to, you know, they trying to be, you know, friendly, but like you say, you, the people who end up talking crazy and then we get, let's say, let's say somebody, they y'all play with somebody, they, they talking crazy and then bro get in person and bro five, five, 115. You come on, baby. Like, come on, baby. Like, that, like, so you y'all understand because you yeah. we meeting at the end of the day. You feel me? Right. So it's a right. so now this person and he used to go and that's his personality online. Yeah. And that's where he he comfortable at. But bro, walk in five six one fifteen. Yeah. Now now his his whole demeanor changed. Right. Now he can't be the big dog in the party no more because we grown men around each other now. Because it is so that right. element is there. So now just just off of being in person, ain't nobody even said a word yet. He know that that won't fly. So now right. his whole game thrown off. He he already mm. uncomfortable. So he nothing. We ain't played a game yet. We ain't had a scrimmage yet. Just mm. by walking in the room, the element changes. It's right. a, it's a, it's a, it's no oh, that that in person. That's, that's a different the psychology monster. aspect of it. Yeah, huh? it's a different. Yeah, all that all that take play. That's a different right. monster. Cause you that you gonna we're gonna figure out how to work as a team if not right. we're gonna go be men like it, you're gonna get like we you know what i'm saying it, it's that element is there 100 it's it right. changed it that changed the ball game so, so do y'all try to tell them like hey man like once you notice it because like you know you being a leader or what have you do you kind of just say hey man i noticed that you know that that might because obviously if you understand just telling us that it's throwing them off their game that they can't be who they want to be or you know they can't be their character then you obviously understand that that's part of their game or what have you. So do you just kind of, how, how do you kind of try to make them feel comfortable? Or you just kind of tell them something like, Hey, you can do what you do. Just don't be too crazy with it or, you know, too disrespectful or too whatever. Like, do you, do you kind of like pull them to the side? Do you just, just everybody try to make them feel comfortable or how do y'all, how do y'all tackle stuff like that? Man, I, make people I'm, get a little bit more comfortable. I, I'm old school. I get first day it's, Day one, that's that's on the table. Day one in front of everybody. Listen, we all grown men. When you make money, I make money. We bust the cut down. 
the exact same. So we're going to get on to each other, but let's respect each other as men. Let's keep it 2K because we all grown men in, at the end of the day. So let's let's respect each other. But at the same time, like, you could be who you could be. You critique him if he's taking dumb shots. Like, hey, bro, chill out. Like, you ain't got to be selfish. It's, it's, we, could, right. we could work this out. But, uh, yeah, we that's up front. That's off the rip. And But to be honest with you, if we see somebody, um, a lot of that stuff go into, uh, go into play when you draft them. So if, we, mm. if somebody talk a little too crazy, I don't even. I don't even want to draft, bro, because I already know I'm gonna have to yoke him up. I don't even. And now, now my job in jeopardy. I don't even want to. Are there any fights? Are there any fights, man? Because oh yeah, stuff. Yeah, they keep I, it under wraps. I, that's yeah. what I say. I played college and we fought a lot. So See? when, yeah. like, when Draymond knocked out Poole, I was like, that's normal, bro. It like, shouldn't hit the internet. That, yeah, yeah, it's that's happening. normal, man. <laughs> it's it's a little different. Yeah, it. See, but y'all probably come from a somewhat of a sports background, so yeah. I got, I got to play college for four years. So it's a, I be, when I get frustrated with my teammate, me and my GM go back and forth all the time because mm -hmm. I, I hooped. So when the box out drill came, man, forget that ball. Whoever I had a problem with, I'm running exactly. at him full speed. You know what exactly. I'm saying? That ain't, it, it, but you can't do that in a 2K environment because it's, right. it's different with, with, with gamers. It's, and I'm a gamer, so no no shame on gamers, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's different. So, yeah, you – and I would, I'm, I still struggle with it. Uh, so the fights don't happen. It don't, cause, cause the other, everybody gonna break it up. But no, they right. don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. People go at it. Some, some stuff doesn't happen. Yeah, it's done being a lot of, lot of altercations that it ain't. It won't hit the fan like that, cause you never want the bad publicity. Right. But yeah, yeah. Of course, you think of about course. it, man. It's, you got five, seven grown men in the, in the, in a room, in the and ball, in everybody done made it. Yeah, and you and know there was money on the line. You, you know a, what I'm saying? And some it's cats that? got families, and it's like, yo, you just took ten, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself. Now, this is me thinking to myself. We just played a tournament. We lose because somebody did something dumb, and you just took fifteen thousand out my little boy mouth, and you laughing? Nah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's nah. different. It's different. It's <laughs> hey, nah. That, that, but look though, Jay. So let's say so it's so political, man. Cause let's say now. You and you in the right, because I'd be feeling the same way you feel, right? Yeah, so right. I'm like, man, we gotta we cool, you missed a shot. You my brother, it happens. I miss shots too. Right. Yeah. But don't you gotta still carry yourself a certain way now. Don't just troll me. But uh exactly. but let's say you go spaz. Now your whole now your whole job and opportunity on the line. Exactly. Right. But when you go snap on bro, exactly. he going he going to he going to HR. You got now you gotta have some conversations. Mm -hmm. And there and everything gonna film. I so it's, it's a different type though, because I fought with a lot of teammates. I even fought my coach. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was one of those. <laughs> I was one of those. I was. I was, man. <laughs> Which is where, like, every time I fought my coach, they made me captain. It kind of calmed me down. But <laughs> we would just fight, and it would be good. We hug after. We good. <laughs> Next day, we good again, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't none of that. But, again, dealing with gamers here. Correct. So, yeah. That's a different era, though, Brute, what you're talking about. I... I <laughs> Man, I be needing therapy with my GM, man. I be having to sit down and tell him, like, I don't even know if I could beat, bro, but let's go step outside for a little bit. He, probably, he, yeah. he might get the better of me. He I don't even know. Exactly. I don't know, but we at least got to see. We, 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 we two grown men. We can't do too much yelling back and forth to each other. But that's, uh, nah, that is, but it's different. It's, um, gaming environment is, it yeah, is, yeah, yeah. it's different, man. It's, you, you got to be a little bit more delicate. You got, you got to, it's, it's a different approach to it for sure. But mm -hmm. it, it, the altercations happen. They definitely happen. Right, right, right. Something I wanted to ask you, and I know if you ask the upper, you know, the upper ups, uh, this, um, why do y'all start the league so late, bro? Y'all pretty much start the league, right, every year when the game is dead, which means less people are mm. interested in watching 2K. So I you... think that's doing such a huge disservice to y'all league, man. Like, y'all need you. to launch... Maybe a month after the launch, for the latest. Now, this what they need. They need. They need people like y'all inside of they. They marketing. Uh, and they marketing strategy rooms. They need to get. So I sit down like I. I the, like the head guy, the CEO just left. But I man, I used to, we couple things. Couple of my ideas came to happen. Like they, I'm telling them they got us. Cause once I started doing content and I understood. The money that started to come from it, not, not on a major scale, but the viewership-wise uh, of it, like, at, and it's it's like 
two K, like it, like you say, like before we was talking on here, two K already starting to advance, and mm -hmm. we're ready for twenty five, baby. At this point yeah. in time, but we just mm -hmm. started, like you said. So we starting when it's dying, and uh, so I'm telling them all the time. As soon as I started content, man, I'm getting a hundred thousand views on a video in, in September. Man, we need to have our, we got a tournament for fives called tip off. We need to be tipping off on a new game a week before it happened. The game already done a week before it happened. We need to be the first ones touching it. Um, but that is so much like stuff because you got to think that they the dev and it's only a certain amount of devs they got. Yeah. The devs doing the regular game, and then our mm -hmm. league build is a completely different game. So they would have to construct a whole new game. That's why I so when you asked earlier, that's why I push for the retail. Just give us a retail version. We'll yeah. play on it a week before it jump yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But nah, you're right, man. That's a so to me, right? If you thinking of that, for me as a as a if I'm a 2K league CEO, why is Brute thinking of that? Why is my group not saying let's figure out how to get that happening? You know, why why are we not starting in September at the very worst, uh October? Like okay. that's, if you asking that question, they need that should be that should be number one at that, on, on top of the board. Yeah, you know the way I see it, it's just like you know, pros lead the sport of basketball, uh, right. IRL stuff. You know, people so that people can aspire to be something. You know what I mean? And be a pro athlete. I think you guys should be leading the way for two K players to aspire to be pros. Uh, and it seems like it's always seemed like this because I started, uh, I met a lot of people through filming, um, recording the 2K League and live streaming it before, you know, they had their channel set up and everything. But what I mean to say is it just seems like it takes a back burner to NBA 2K when it could lead the way uh, they just put it at the forefront. Man. Depends on how serious, right. depends on how serious they are. So if you think about, if you think of, so 2K, like you said, they got... They got the they got the professional side to it, and then they yeah, got the, just the, the regular side, the two K side, the retail yeah. side of it. Mm -hmm. If if I'm the dude running two K, I'm not catering to pros because to me, I'm looking at pros. Y'all put a lot of time into my game, but y'all ain't making my game no money. Y'all the ones that's bringing in viewership, bringing in eyes. Y'all the one the content creators are the ones pushing the brand. They mm -hmm. the ones that pushing it forward. So they gotta they gotta cater to that. That a little, they got like a not even a little bit, but a lot more. And if you just try to throw that pro side above, kind of what else you doing? I don't know if I don't know what they think of the money breakdown and how would it look. Um, mm. if, if that makes sense. But we we yeah. had these conversations all the time, man. And it's a mm. uh, it's the two K league pros really good at the game, but y'all, if you take the two K league out of it, as good as they are at the game, y'all make y'all make way more money off of them from 2k because mm -hmm. of, of the way y'all approach it so if the content is going like push the game forward if the content is what's making the money then the league like they ain't they ain't worried about the 2k league because 2k league ain't bringing in the viewership that the content creators of the game bringing in if that makes not, sense if yeah, that makes, makes sense. sense it makes sense it just it seems like there's been a failed uh marketing budget for the 2k league to put it at the forefront. I think it's doing a disservice, man. I hear a lot of people always right? talk about 2K League viewership being low, but yeah, it's just at a wrong time. It's mm. just at a terrible time. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a horrible time for them to, to start the season. I'm the biggest advocate that we need to we need that like we need to be playing at the beginning. If we want to give ourselves yeah, a chance yeah. to grow as a league, we need to be in the front of it. But at the same time, man, mm. 2K League players. They lazy on the aspect of content creation. So oh, we know. So I'm going to ask you why more 2K League players don't do content like you do. Like See, that's like even, that's I, even I'm, la I'm lazy on it, right? So I yeah. started to start to do it and, and figure yeah. out that let me try to do this, that, and the third. But man, you put so much time into yeah. being good that it's really, really hard. Y'all yeah. know how it is editing and, and trying to get your perfect time. view across and the time that you and they don't they ain't, this ain't a learned skill for them. They don't know it. So they start from right. scratch. So a little 10 minute video they're trying to put out might take four hours. Uh, mm. So once they get once they start touching that, no, oh, I'm done with it after one or two of them videos. I ain't got time to do it. it so it's a it's a time That's aspect of, of. Can I say that like, yeah, you know I would I, I I would love to cover the 2K league. Like I would love to just make videos about each individual game and players, but I feel like 2K is not giving enough effort on on the 2K side to market it so that when I upload, it's gonna get that viewership. Yeah. If I attempt, you feel what I'm saying? If I attempt yeah. to do a 2K League video yeah. right now, I'm only going to hurt my channel. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like we're forced into this, 
Huh? But that would be completely different if they dropped, if the league was yeah, launching earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That would yeah. be completely different. Mm-hmm. It would be in the mix of everything. You know what I'm I, saying? I, I, I think next year, man, they're going to have this. They got this. We had this conversation. This ain't being talked about publicly. This is yeah, amongst yeah. the players that we know, but next year might be a different different turn to, to everything we've been seeing. I won't say too much yeah. on it, but yeah. it might be a different twist, a different turn. Because this, the thing that y'all are saying, they're having these talks too. It ain't like they just they just had they they hired a hundred idiots. They they know they trying to they trying to grow it. They trying to make it bigger. Uh but it's a lot of it come down to the players too, man. Like it is it's you you got to do that. You got to do that content aspect of it and if you want to be successful like, but it could be easy too. Y'all could do like vlogs and stuff like uh, like uh, how right. I actually recommend. You, know, you went to like it. That. You went to it. You know the game. So at this point it's secondhand nature to you. But for somebody that's playing a game eight yeah, twelve yeah, hours a day yeah, that ain't yeah, that ain't yeah, even yeah, comfortable yeah. in front of a camera yeah. it's a it's a foreign language to them it ain't they they ain't even comfortable sitting in front of the camera uh half mm-hmm. the time so then not no less to come across entertaining so it's a it's just it's it's a different monster man are there different budgets for different teams so yeah hundred percent um mm. And then that's a they want to try to keep it as you know you you don't want to make it an unfair competitive advantage as far as this team yeah. spending a million everybody want to go mm-hmm. to the team spending a million so mm-hmm. but yeah it's definitely it's that de- like like for me for the last three years uh, I'm the only one in the, the NBA 2K league that's had everything paid like normally you go six months on six months off uh, and when you own six months they pay for everything you don't got to worry about nothing you pay for food. You don't got to worry about no light bill, no water bill, no internet, no house rent. You don't have to, you don't worry about nothing. They, and they even get you transportation to get to work. Uh, you don't got to worry about nothing. So, for the, but like for the last three years, I ain't, I ain't, I've been in market for three years. I ain't, you go, you, you come, you go for six months and then you leave for six months. I ain't left in three years. I'm the only one in the league that's, that's had that opportunity. So my team is spend more on that than, than the next team would. Certain mm-hmm. teams got different, like certain people get, Uber budgets, they get Uber Eats budgets. It's different, wow. it's, but yeah, it's different budgets for sure. Ain't that something? Right. Yeah, you think sense. that's because of how you market yourself? Cause you stand out. Yeah. You 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 could you could see that you understand entertainment. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand. You understand it's a game. The, yeah. The and not just about the, the game. Yeah. The, the, so the, the innovator yeah. of the of the. Uh, the floaties yeah, how, how and stuff you, like that. Like, did, did they give you something <laughs> off the floaties? And, the, are, and nah. are they going to put the whistle in the game? That's what we want to know. How the hell you create that? They, 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 you know, hey, he, this joke got that with floaties, the doggone the duck, the doggone goggles <laughs> on. Yeah, I ain't the, the front, bro. First time I saw that, I said, oh... Hope Barry ain't losing it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was Dude, my first thought. Whatever he said. <laughs> yeah, that, that, man. yeah, that's what nah, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a it's different, man. It's understanding it. You know, if you're a hustler, then you're gonna figure out how to how to make the money and get it from from whatever angle. And uh, I need to be around more stuff like this, man. Because the people who I'm around, they just want. I need to be in these type of environments, like right here, more because it make me wanna. I slack with the content. I won't. If it's easy, everybody have it. So it's, you got to put that time in. You got to put that little extra push, that little to, to, to keep it rolling. But um, yeah, man, it, it's it's so for me, I understood they would hire guys like y'all to come to these events, and they were paying for appearances, paying for their time. And I'm like, dang, I might be getting just as many views on my posts as Shorty getting, but y'all ain't throwing me a dime. And so then they started telling me what well, he got this on the following. This is what his following looked like. So I was. All right, let me go see if I could do this. That so I just just understanding the game and and then yeah. uh, being a little older too than a lot like exactly man, yeah. yeah so being a, 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 just understanding it, man. Just it's so it's 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 definitely it's definitely that aspect of me making a conscious effort of like all right, I got to learn how to run Adobe Premiere and then I would have to like I used to go home. So the first three years I go home to North Carolina, but my GM you need you need your org to back you too. He'll fly me in to sit down with the Timberwolves producers, like the actual production team. Go sit in and go take four hour classes with them. Sit like they they'll help you out. They're gonna teach you. They gonna so then I got my editing skills a little better than then I bet now I can do the basic stuff I needed. Whoop de woo in the third, but yeah. all the resources are there. It's just up to that person to take yeah. advantage of it and market and use mm. it. Um, so it's a they, they it's a well oiled machine. You got because you it, it, people would think oh NBA two K, and when you go there like I. In our facility now, we like we in the biggest mall of America in in mall of America, Minnesota, biggest mall in in, in, right. uh, in America right. now. So we there, but w- the first three years, four years, we was at the facility right upstairs. 
We walk upstairs and you got cat practicing. You got all the NBA players. They, they right upstairs. They practicing. And then on the left side of the building, like inside of the same building, the right, you see the gym. The left door, all 175 workers. And then you might be walking upstairs. You might see somebody got a whole PowerPoint presentation on Better Beast. And they trying to market you to Adidas. They doing the sale point to Snickers. They doing the sale point to HyperX. So it's a it's a different, it's a, man, it's a lot behind it. And you, it's, it's, and that's why I say, y'all might say like, Man, you different from the players. Man, somebody going to come do it way bigger than I ever done it because I don't even go as hard as 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 I should be doing it. But the right. the, the the platform and 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 like everything you need, it's right there in front of your face. You they just they you just got to go grab it. That's crazy, man. That should um, be enlightening, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I ain't gonna lie. A lot of I see a lot of league players that should be have a way bigger following, a yeah. way bigger following, man. And I'm yeah. not talking about Twitter. I'm not talking about Twitter. I don't think you make a lot of money off of Twitter. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't think dollars and cents. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think dollars and cents when I see that, that type of stuff, man. I see that. Y'all know the game, a though. A lot of money on the table. Exactly. So it's and, like, when y'all, that's the knowledge y'all know. Y'all been in that lane. Y'all been doing it. And then, so for me, being on the other side of it, just I make a video for Twitter, go run it up, 20, 30, 40,000 views, no money come off of it. Then they, you need to switch, like, they, you need to switch. To, and, and the league need to do a better job of, like, almost forcing these people to create content and, and, right. and making them get monetized and and that thing. Uh, but that, they, they got to want it. That's how I look at it. That's why you won't barely see me comment something on Twitter, right, to be honest with you. Well, I'll do, I'll make a video about it. Right. I will. Then I'll post that video on my Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Not like you. Hey, look. It's, but it, until you start making money off of it, you don't. Yeah. And, and then mm-hmm. the crap, man. Yeah, I, it, just, and just for me being with the NBA, I know people. So, you know, because then you start to meet people. Then you start to network. Yeah. And then, you know, old boy might tell me he just did an appearance for. Mm-hmm. He got, he got 500,000 followers. And he just did an appearance for. Whatever, five thousand dollars. Me, I got yeah. forty thousand followers on YouTube. But since I'm connected to the NBA, connected yeah. to this brand, huh, Barry exactly. go whatever. They go ten. He go he go seventy five. Like you know, but my and mine a, a fraction of what bro got. Uh, but since you connected to that machine, yeah. mm. so it's a it's a different it's a different monster to it, man. That's what and it's a that's why I'm like I need to be in these environments because it may then it, it, you know you get some get that extra you know, that little motivation you need to, to keep it going. But if you don't know, man, you don't know. You don't you don't, right, It's right, tough. Right. All they right. like 2K Lao players we know is playing the game. That's what we know. Right. <laughs> I'll feel you on that, man. Um, I gotta ask you this, man, because this has been a huge debate As, amongst comp and casual players, man. What direction do you prefer 2K to go in? Like either the sim direction, the more realistic direction, or more arcade direction. So from being a hooper, so for me, what whichever yeah. which whichever one could bring the most viewership to the game, right? So now, I would like to say that's going to be more of an arcade-ish type of feel because mm-hmm. how much fake basketball are people really trying to watch? So if, if, we get too, if we get too real or too comp, then it's like, bro, go outside and hoop. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a, so that, that's kind of my argument to it. I'm on it like I play the game at the highest level, yeah. but I ain't going to lie. It gets boring. It gets repetitive because when you viewing it, we all doing the same cheese move, and it's only about two or three of them. We all doing the same fast animation. We all using that one best jump shot at each position. So in every, visually, it's all the same. And it'd be fun to me to go into the park and play with a 96 driving dunk and, and actually see a contact dunk that I ain't seen all year because I've been running. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. for me, that whatever whatever is the most fun. And I, I think the I don't mind the Sim Nation. I don't mind. I actually like it. I like it's. I don't know, man. For me, I like to see all aspects of it. I kind of like what they hit with the park, and then you got your wreck, and then you got your pro am, you got your matchmaking and pro am. They try to hit all levels of it, but mm-hmm. whichever one bring the most viewership, I'm, I'm, for me personally, I'm I down think for. that's the problem with the two K community because most people only play certain modes, mm-hmm. and two right. K has so much different things they touch on. Like even like the play now, that's all I used to play in college. Yeah, with me too. My friends, we used to put yep. money on the line. Play now, you pick your team, I will pick my team, and that's yep. what we're going at it. That game is almost dead right now yeah. to most people. Mm. Most people yeah. just go straight to my career and that's it. And that's how they base, how they view 2K. Well, you got so much more, man. 
Um, a what, y'all think, what, what y'all think oh. about that? I'm interested to hear because I get to see the, the yeah. professional sides of it and what they think. Mm-hmm. Um, and they always favor comp. So me trying to do my little yeah. my little content that I do, I see the cat more casual side of it. What y'all think about that? Me to lead it. I would I would say I would like uh, it's similar to what you said. I, I'd rather see more, not fully arcadey, but more arcade style. Like there, there's these. 2K recently introduced something called the Impact Engine. And, okay. and that Impact Engine is what changes a lot of our aggressive dunk animations into layups. You know what I mean? To uh... say, and, and for the sake of realism, they incorporated this into 2K. And I, you know, I come coming from the era where we were yamming on everything. And yeah. it's so good. And not only that, <laughs> it was like a 50-50 chance, you know, because the, the defenders, they got the aggressive swap block animations. Not snatch, but swap. It's like right. Mm, you know, and that used to be in the game, and, and it was always fun to see the animation play out, which may be more arcade style, arcadey reference, as opposed to the realism of this impact engine and changing everything because the two players impact it. So I would lean more towards arcadey than sim. Okay. Um, I just needed to make sense. That's all. <laughs> okay, so all right. if I'm open. I want to hit my shot, provided I do all the right things. If I'm standing smack dab in the middle of the paint, I don't, and I'm and I'm seven foot, and uh. the dude is five five. I don't want to get mm. dunked on. And I really the the thing, only thing that's really making me mad right now that I feel like it's just over the top. Okay, I don't even care about the meter dunk. Hey, get meter dunked on all you want, but the fact that guys right now can go in there, turn off time, and and just make any layup they want to on uh. on you. Like that's a little bit OD. So I don't want to see. I if if there's a such thing as a good balance, I'm okay with that. Like if we're in the parking, you you make all the layups you want to. As a matter of fact, if you go to theater, because the lowest level is theater, okay. uh, is theater. Uh, no no squads. That's the lowest level. So let them make all those layups in there. Do do whatever okay. they want to. Then you come to the park. It should be a little bit tougher. We really shouldn't be seeing that in the wreck as much, unless you're very high and he's very low. And then in Pro-Am, you know, it should balance out somewhere. So I, I just feel like if, if there's a such thing as a good balance, and I think they're on the, you know, they, they're trying to get there with the pro play. I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to get us too far away from what we expect from 2K, but I'm interested to see it. I think that they've made some good strides this year toward a good balance. But at the same time, we see we <laughs> we see what some of these animations are capable of and all that. So I think right now where we are is cool except for the ridiculous layups that some people can make. Gotcha. Me personally, man, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I'll play whatever 2K, man. Every year, I reset my mind and just see what they drop in. I figure it out. That's my approach. That's we always been my approach for 2K. So that I don't even stress out. The stuff that people stress about, I don't. Mm-hmm. That's why people always be like, bro, why you don't do this on gameplay? I'm like, bro, I don't. I really don't care. I'll figure yeah. it out, bro, and find a way to be successful with whatever system they drop. You know what I'm saying? So That's I just pro- uh, have fun with the game, bro. It's a video game. Facts. Right. Has pro yeah, play man. affected your gameplay? So, it, expl- I don't even know what... Well, have you noticed expl- the effects expl- of pro play? Explain the pro play to me. All well, right, these what, these what are supposed to be... Then? You want it? Yeah, yeah what, what pro play is, right... It's just a new system that replacing mocap, pretty much. So it's add realistic animation. So they could now, like if Kyrie do a crazy crossover, a new crossover that they never seen, they could go and take the recording and put that into the video game, right? Okay. So it gotcha. takes more time. Now they're slowly transitioning us using Proctor because it does take some more time and they have years of animations they've been using over the past few years that we see, you know, they keep bringing back. So that, you know, they just fully putting it into the game right yeah, now. Yeah, we don't, we don't see none of that because we, we nerd it out. We nerd the game out. Yeah, so we, don't exactly. even, yeah. we don't even enjoy the beauty of the, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the, the visualization yeah, yeah, of the game. What works and that's, what works, yeah, and, and and that's it. it. That's it. And every... And if it's 15 animations for the guard, we all got on the same 13. So we don't even we don't enjoy we don't enjoy the beauty of the game. Right. And I think I think I think I think a lot of 
where where the reason yeah, that you might not see it as much is because what we were right, saying, right. what we were saying was um the pro play animations are the ones that really make you play the game a certain way. And we as 2K people, we went and found all the animations that weren't pro play and we're gonna use those. <laughs> Yeah. And and if it's ten of them in the game next year, we'll be using those ten and yeah. exploiting those until it's zero, <laughs> and then we'll go through the pro play, pro play animations and figure out which ones of those are good. Because the only it's only one good pro play animation in the game that everybody using, and that's T Mac jump shot. That's it. Yeah. That's, okay. that's and and probably yeah. Steph Curry, and and that's it. Ain't nobody else using no pro play stuff because. You can't glitch out of it and all that. And the only one that you could was Magic Johnson crossover, and they fixed it. So, yeah, see that don't, that's a that's we look at we look, the new Devin Booker. We on that. So that's a, yeah, yeah, we exactly. Going for all the cheese. We ain't worried about that. And I don't really, <laughs> no, no, don't. You done seen all the animations in the game at this point. So there's no point. And like I don't when I, I when I'm I'm thinking about this because. I don't never have these conversations with my peers, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not really no animation in the game I haven't seen. So there's not really a play that I'm a, that somebody gonna make and I'm gonna be like, yo, that was dope. I don't matter yeah. play the game 15 hours for the last four months straight. So like, yeah, I don't seen right. everything. So that's not I don't get wild by them plays. It's a or don't even I don't even look I don't even like I don't even look for that no more. Yeah, that's, right. so we we stay far, far, far away yeah. from that. We want to you ain't gonna they don't have really high dunking bills and stuff like right. that. Right. Yeah, uh, like I'm still being wild because I just created, I just like recently I've been running with a 99 driving dunk and I'm seeing some crazy pro play animations. Yeah. Like I've never seen these dunk animations. I'm like, yeah, yo, I don't see that. Yeah. And if you look at the little edits I, that my man does on Twitter, like he uses, he's that he'll make the player and put all the pro and yep. it literally looks like him. That's what that is. It looks like the player playing. He'll cut from yeah. this guy to, you know, cut from that and this. Some in the background, you know, some music yeah, that's gonna get me copyrighted on you YouTube. Most competitive way to play for it. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that, no. I think that's fire content. I think it's, it's dope content. content. Yeah, I think it's like, but if it's a so from if if he ever was to try to come out and do that against yeah. people, that no, it ain't gonna play, work. It ain't gonna work. It's, it's over, work. man. It's over. Yeah, it so we work. don't even we don't even associate yeah, yeah, with, right with that that type of play. But when I'm scrolling for content, it's dope. It's, it's fire. Yeah. And so you're exactly. probably the first competitive player that we've heard say that it's dope content wise, but because the first thing they're gonna say, hey, I ain't no. gonna worry, ain't gonna worry. Like, bro, nobody cares. That's not what it's about. It's just supposed right. to be visually pleasing. That's all right. right. Yeah. That so that's the, but they don't see a lot. Of, and we be, a lot of they don't. So I, man, you should hear something like we will have orientation or we will have player meetings with with the uppers and some of the the, the the conversations and things that they want in the game. I'm just like. I mean, y'all don't understand half of what's going on about the real world. So, uh, right. but it's yeah. it's just it's 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 a different, yeah. It's it's different. Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. of the real world, uh, I know we about to get up out of here. But speaking of the real world, man, I would be remiss if we didn't, you know, we we know you hustle extraordinaire. You you got to tell these boys about the career after two K house flipper I, I, number one. What you know about that? Hey, look, Come on, man, I'm looking at all this content. I ain't, I ain't one of those hey. people. I'm watching all that. What's you, you got your second rental home already? What's going I, on? I, yeah, I, this I saw it. I saw it. I, I saw this it. On everything I just love, bro. I, I'm, I'm, my, my boy. My boy messaged me now. I told him last flight leave out at six thirty seven tonight. So I'm I already missed it. But I was trying to fly out because I got to fly out tomorrow. And um, y'all know. I mean, they. So I, man, I. Dang, I'm glad you asked me that. And I'm, but I. Long story short, I ain't gonna kill y'all time, but I did. I just I bought my first property about in July, so whenever that was, how many months ago yeah. that was, and then I just bought my second when I just closed March the first. Um, so I'm gonna flip this one though. Uh, but yeah, man, it's the. I, so I graduated with a, I got a bachelor's, and um, it's it's so I, I I love that that basketball field. Come from basketball background, so coaching and before I got to the 2K league. Um, I was I, I y'all probably Josh Howard that played for the Mavs. I was uh yeah. I was on the coaching staff and helping kids come to college, man. You know, recruiting them and uh, I was recruiting for college and all. You know, I love helping the kids get to school, education, go to, go get your come come to sports. We can give out scholarships. Woo woo. So I was recruiting, but um nah that that uh that's why I kind of stopped a little bit with as as much grind on that content because I always wanted to do real estate, man, and I and I finally got my hands on it and the type of person I am. I just work, man. I man, I'm t <laughs> true story, bro. I'm, I'm I woke up and 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 
I went to sleep probably two, three. I wake up at six and my mind just racing and I'm fidgeting. And Shorty hit me like, dude, what you doing? Like, and I can't stop thinking because I'm like, I just paid 74 and I put 10 into it. It's going to go for 140. And I'm like, bet, let's hurry up and fly home. Let's go get the, uh, co let's go get the contractors in here. Let's make sure buddy, buddy ain't trying to rip me off. So I'm going to have three of them come meet me on Sunday. Whoever give me the best deal, the best work, going to get the price. I'm flying back out get my real tone it go buy uh, i mean go sell it and then i'm looking for the next the next hit and it's right. uh so it's uh i literally got to fly out in the morning probably six o'clock in the morning to go hurry up and we like so yeah that's it though man i, I done fell in love with, with real estate and if it ain't if it ain't gonna be uh I, at this point it's is you, you can't miss off the real estate uh investment i feel like but um if it in and and, and and coaching man i love to i hey. love to, to to get back to the youth did did you see yourself doing this is this something that you aspire to be? Is this a uh, dream come true? What is, what is bear? What is this to bear? So what's um, your experience, this life right now, man. Yeah. So, man, so I always try to have a positive outlook on life. Right. So it's, uh, we all come from similar circumstances and, and a lot of people don't come from much, but, um, the opportunity that I've been presented and I'm always telling people like, man, if you, somebody giving you good advice somewhere and an opportunity is going to present it somewhere you just got to go get it you got to make it happen so a lot of people will tell like they'll say like man people only make forty thousand dollars in the 2k league in six months and i'm like yo that's a blessing you ain't got to pay no rent dog like y'all boys 18 19 years old um that's it that's that's the, if you can save up 20 30 thousand in six months shorty you did it like that 20 yeah. could turn to 40 40 to 80 and then you <laughs> off uh so but yeah, man, for me, it's a, to me, man, every, I'm, I'm one of the, like, I don't know how I got here in life. I don't know how it happened. I don't know, like, why God put me in this position. I don't know why I'm walking in those shoes, but I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take nothing for granted. Like, just sitting down, being able to talk to guys that, as far as content, because I feel like for me, being somebody in life and having people respect what you do uh, was is, was important for me. So then I got guys that I'm sitting on a podcast with this super uh successful in in their field and i get to sit down and talk to them i think it's dopest thing in the world um but then the the before i got to the 2k league i was i had my own furniture mm -hmm. business so the hustling aspect of it i always yeah. like i got i grew up with my dad and it's a <laughs> growing up with black male in america is uh like my, i didn't grow up with my mom i grew up with my dad this is a little different a little different feel growing up and this uh, he real like, this is a real nigga this is a real I ain't <laughs> nine kids nine kids in the household and <laughs> it, it just that was with Grandma Millie and Grandma Am, uh, and Grandma Am Murray. That was it. So it's like growing up with him. Like it's just, it, he taught me, man. That dude taught me the world. But yeah, I don't, man. My my outlook on life I, is six feet above. Six is way better than six feet below. So it's a mm -hmm. I go on that whole. Yeah, I give you a billion dollars today. Would you trade that to die tomorrow? Nah, I'm mm -hmm. trying to live. So I wake up like I'm a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my mindset every day. Like I, I won, I did it, I woke up. So, uh, yeah, I didn't never think I'd be here though. I never thought it'd uh, turn into this. I'm just, I just be, you know, wake up, thank God. Just even my mind is, I could think and to move the way I can move because it's everything that's going on to me is is just a blessing. That's that's a great right. way to close it right there, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. All right, y'all got any final words before we head out, man? Well, I want to I want to add that one. It's been a pleasure having you on, Bear. I share right. the same exact sentiment. This is right. all new to me, and I every day I'm truly appreciative for the position that we're in because the same way you said you're here on this platform, uh, I'm I'm it's still surreal to me as well. I watch Brew and Jay. I remember yeah. when Jay uh, first gave me a shout out on his video and how geeked I was and excited. I remember when Jay first hit like on one of my tweets and I was geeked. And I remember talking about you, Bear, and more everybody around me talking about Bear, Bear. And I'm like, who's Bear? Like, what's going on? And then I look at a video and see you in a rubby ducky. And I... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't nah, losing, bro. I ain't losing. I promise. I ain't losing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm... <laughs> no, nah, but it, but you know you know we need to stay grounded, man, and that, I appreciate you sharing that message, man. Now nah, I appreciate y'all, man. This is dope. Mm -hmm. Just from watching y'all, you know, for a minute, and, and y'all, boy, y'all keep grinding, man, because it inspires and motivates somebody like me. I might get off the track, but y'all don't even know it from afar. Just seeing y'all stay on the grind, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and me getting to come here is like it. It's always motivating, inspiring me. So um, 
I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the love y'all been showing to, and I wish y'all nothing but the best, though. Same here. you, my G. Appreciate you blessing us, man. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan, bro. Trust me, I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Same, same back, man. Same mm -hmm. back. I'm a fan, man. I'm gonna continue to support you, my G. And of course, chat. Make sure check the description. Subscribe to my guy, man. Great content. Mm -hmm. Great content. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Appreciate y'all for you showing too. love, man. I really do. No, no, my G. Do you got anything, man? Are we good? Uh, nothing but they need to go back and watch that video where he said if you suck at the game you need to don't even shoot the ball unless you in take or have some take going if you don't, yeah that's because a lot of people they need to think about that you can get take a lot of different ways you can you can play defense you can pass the ball you can do all that stuff stop trying to come out there playing with us and shoot the ball if you don't you're not that good with no with with at least not 33 percent take something man anything. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. <laughs> we give him our best one till next time. You see if out there, y'all. Peace.